in Ethiopia, their staple is something called injera. And so what it is is they get teff, which is kind of like rice. They'll make it out of teff or rice, and they'll make it into like a some, something like that paste and they'll let it ferment and then they'll pour it and fry it on a grill and then it turns into this giant like a sponge and so you tear with it and you you don't use your knife or you don't use a knife or fork or anything like that you just use your hands you tear it and you pick up meat with it and they they put all different types of sauces on it so there'll be like lentils or beans or just a spicy sauce or a chicken sauce or a beef sauce or depending on what you want and you can order it in so like a million different varieties they have like a mixed dish which is like macaroni noodles and then cabbage and then tomatoes and then meat and then beans and so everyone would share a giant platter it's in the platters about like that big and you just tear it off and grab it and then throw it in your mouth um, and tradition there is if they wanted to respect you they'd feed you so they'd tear it off for you and then put it in your mouth and feed you to feed it to you and that was like a form of respect <laughs> um, I it, it was disgusting the first time I had it in Uganda and the first three or four times and it really grew on me and then it, it, I loved it it was delicious my favorite um, favorite dish is called dibs furfur and they'd soak the the sponge in this meat sauce and then have chunks of meat in it and then they'd tear up more of the sponge and throw it on top and so a giant mound and so it just really really good sounds disgusting i'm sure <laughs> fermented rice made into a sponge with nasty sauce but it's really good once you get used to it <laughs> um and then they had some the area i served was in a village in southern ethiopia and they had this, they just drink raw, or not raw, it's not cooked, milk that's really old, maybe 20, 30 days old. It's just clumpy and rotten and whatever comes after milk, it was almost to that stage. <laughs> and I, I had that once and then I got a bacterial infection, so I didn't drink that. So if you go to Ethiopia, don't drink the milk unless you know it's clean. Um, and they had a, a cultural drink called Kanito, which is just really really bitter I didn't like it at all. a lot of missionaries loved it they say it's just you either hate it or you love it um, but I didn't like it it was just this purple drink I don't know what they make it out of um, and then most of the restaurants that you go to they have these steamers and so that you can get fresh milk there and then they'll um, steam it and make it warm and then it'll add sugar and so that's that was one of my uh, favorite things to get is just like this really hot near boiling kind of like sweet milk so yeah. uh, in Ethiopia we didn't have a lot of we didn't have a lot of, like sliced bread, so if we wanted to buy bread, it was more like rolls. That was almost like a baguette, you could say. Um, and so when we were eating food there for breakfast, we'd fry up eggs and then mix them with potatoes and then get these baguettes and just tear it up and eat it together. Um, I only ate two meals a day in Ethiopia because I got so sick in my area that when I, when, you know, the food there was, the restaurants there were kind of um, sketch. So. We weren't told not to eat at them, but I just ate you know, a big breakfast and then ate a big lunch and then skip, you know, or I mean, sorry, big breakfast, big dinner, skip lunch. I'd buy maybe some bananas or some guava stuff on the street and then eat that. But yeah, um, in Ethiopia, they didn't have half that stuff. They didn't have mangoes um, that I saw very often or they had bananas, but more common was guavas, um, at least in the area I was serving. So you could buy 50 guavas for a dollar. I'd, I'd buy it's you know one burr for four guavas and it's seventeen burr to the dollar so I'd buy for you know a seventeenth of a dollar I'd buy four guavas and then I'd buy a couple bananas um, and it was great I loved it and they had some really good strawberries there.